Uh, no, not, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm running out of bone food. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I actually ran out of food. Oh, hey there, little guy. Okay, that's it. Okay, so, uh, ouch. Okay, there we go. Ouch. That guy hit me like a truck. A oh, damn. Hello guys, and here, and welcome back to another video story more showcase. So today, I'll be featuring the med medieval expansion by Ronin. Ronin, thank you for the mod. So, let's just begin well, with the little basics. So, uh, we have here a fire brazen. So, fire brazen is, is named, well, you don't know, but okay. So, what this can do is that you can, you can use it as, as a fire. Fire sources, you can use it as a license, you can use it for heat sources for the winter, etc. This one, and then, and for making this, all you need is, of course, a hammer, any f five kind of ingots that you can use, use like copper, iron, metal, any kind of metal ingot, but it has to be the same for one fire brazier. And actually, this what you can use any. So as we can take it out from here, there we go. So you can use any kind of fuel sources, you can use fire woods, you can use charcoal, it depends on you. So what is uh, interesting about this is that you can put eight, as much items you want, this same one right now, so which means that you can stack this guy in for very long and it will burn very long as well. And of course you can extinguish by um, uh, basically that. you can. There we go. So you can extinguish it by your hand. So this is done back. Let's take put this guy's back. There we go. So what I have next here is of course a lamppost. Yes, a lamppost just as the name. You can hang hang any kind of lantern you want. So as the decorative items, homey I would say, and something for you to hang the lantern up higher. So for doing that, you, all you need is five balls, any kind you want. Two sticks, two plus one, and of course any kind of hammer I want. And of course, I'll just put it up here. There we go. Of course, putting this guy down. You can, I can place this block here. There. Okay, there we go. Let's just break up some glass, grass, and just by clicking up here. There we go. Was, and of course, you can take this back by. I think you have to break it by hand, I have to say. Yeah, actually you have to break it by hand, there we go, with put our lantern bag and then just put it up there. There we go. Okay, so next item I want is a floor plate. So it's just, it's like a pressure plate from Minecraft, but of course. But this two they are on different much you know, like they don't different thing in time or so anything else. So all you do is just basically put it down here. That, there we go, and then that. So yeah. So this guy, this guy, all this guy actually take a long time to do it. So of course for both wood and stone, so as they are actually in terms of function, they are not just different. The difference for them is actually the crafting recipes. For the wood variant, you need a stick and three boards. So. Uh, but for the stone variant, actually, it's uh, quite cheaper. All you need is um, a stick and any kind of cobblestone stuff, which you can use by actually crafting it very easily. You just need clay and three stones. And so, I would say this one is basically cheaper variant than this. Uh, I would recommend crafting that. But, I mean, you can craft this for, for, for virtual like looking. So next thing I'll have is actually in here. So of course, it's not. They do. We do have a bunch of mobs around here. That we, so we have orange bull, a, a male bull, orange cow, the female, and orange calf, the kids. So 
you want to feed them, of course you can, you can use an orange food, food mix, which actually requires you to have three uh, hay bale or just basically simply eight dry grass each to make three of them. So I would say one. You can you can use it as meat or maybe actually use can you you can use them still as some milk and as as normal. So I'll just put some of these guys down here. Okay, there we go. Go there first. And of course some of the around here. And of course what I'll do next is um put a trout in here, put in some food in there, of course. So, and of course again because since it's made out dry grass you can still use it as a fire pit but I don't recommend it. It's very expensive so don't try doing that. So yeah this guy's just eating his food. Okay so we'll just let him do his thing. I'll put all the stuff in back in here there we go. And now back to more interesting stuff. We have some more get of course in of course, in the original game we already have it, but it's not much. You we only, normally you have two by four, two, two by two, so it is a bit different. It's, I wouldn't say it's something. And this thing, well, we have four more variants for, for get if you want to do. So we have a three by three, a four by four, five by five, and an eight by five. So for three by three, so all you need is. Six or six broad. I choose or varying. You can choose any kind of variant. And a, ha a hammer. You, you please uh, to make it. And for the four by four, all you need is them to, of course, two more placing and four slots. If only and a hammer here and that for five by five. Well, actually, it's somewhat similar. Just in four slot, but. Now so you have need four, four and three, so combine sixteen. And finally, for eight by five, you, you need a hammer, an iron saw. Okay, sorry, my family. <laughs> okay, so actually, you need tons of wood. So I would say is one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, seven, see seven wood. So of course, it will be extremely big. So of course, as, as you can see here, okay, you know what? I'm just um. Fighting empty space in so yes, bunch of grass around it. Oh, hello there. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, I just found myself. We're just moving house recently, so it's quite a bit busy for me actually. Anyways, so you know, as you can see, yeah, yeah, yeah uh, it's a nice looking. Okay, let's move this guy down here, yeah, and as you can see, yeah, it's also a bit different. Yeah, they do they've come different in size, of course. Okay, I just want to chop this guy out for, for now. Okay, there we go. And yeah, let's, of course, those guys. Okay. Yeah, of course, you need empty space for this one. Okay, so well, I'll just try to find them. Okay, it's shopping more price of it. Yeah, you know, they just everywhere. Of course. I mean, yeah, it's because this size is so big that sometimes. Uh, Okay, there we are, and as you can see, then well, you you can still just tap in, and so you don't have to you know reach each side. You can just put it in the middle. Okay, there we go. That's that's it done. But I would recommend just share the amount of size. So depends on yours, but I would choose a five x five or a four x four as my preference. And with that. Finishing with the guess, so next we have some drawbridge, of course. So, let's talk about this. So, you have a body of lanyard and body lanyard separate by a mass of water. So, all you need is a dawn bridge, of course, you can just be a bridge up there. But if you want more it to look aesthetic, uh, you can still use a dawn bridge, of course. And you have all different insights. 
So you have um, 3 by 4, 3 by 5, 3 by 6, 4 by 5, a 4 by 6, and a 4 by 7. So of course you have different inventory. So you need if ropes, some walls, things around. Because I'm just using all oak because you know, it's my favorite kind of wood. So a hammer, a saw, and four three by four of three by five, and the placement is a bit different. All the rope on the right side and the board is on the left side. You need to have to have brought three ropes, the same as any hammer and any saw you have of three by six. Okay, so they're a bit opposite. You need four ropes, four ropes on, I mean eight ropes on the left, and sixteen both on the right side, and also any kind of stuff. So on hammer you have three, three by six. Okay, I think I should have featured this. Yeah, I already did. Sorry. Okay, four, four by five. So actually, all these guys they don't have actually the same kind of crafting recipe. So again. Just it's still eight ropes, but in the middle, 22 boards on the right side, 11 plus slot right here. Now, for four by seven, well, it's a bit there, you know, 26 boards on, on top here, and then right side, 10 ropes, so it's a bit different. And of course, a hammer and a saw, and of course, okay, let's just get yeah, this. Let's let's start with it. Hmm. Yeah, I think for some reason. Yeah, I need. You know what? I think I'll just take an appliance right here. Oh, let me try this. There's something. The brass block is just um, happens to be extremely weird. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. So yeah, it's basically like that. So as you can see, yeah, okay. So I just all I have to do is place. Yeah, there we go. So this is like that. This guy will actually create a bridge by the way in the way you want. There we go. And of course, you can just put it a double right there, so you can fold. Raise it up and raise it down as much as you want. And anyway, let's put this guy down. And of course, so because while waiting with that will be a you know a visible invincible warrior. So you have to wait for this one to finish, which means that hopefully you well, which means that you can also walk on the water. You can see it, but when it's finished, well, you just fall down instead. So while well, you outside, you have a bit of time, but it's still burning. Okay. So that that's with all of that. Get here, of course. I mean, draw bridge. And the next thing uh, we have here is a bunch of particles, iron. Basically, it's like iron gate of some sort. Which, of course, in order to grab anything, you need this one. Procular spot iron. So you need a hammer. Okay. Is so, that any kind of board you have and Two iron ingot, oh, so with the one and of course for this one is a bunch of class dismantle. So basically, you take any one in here you have, you hammer here, one plus iron around here, and of course, amount of items will be varied. So it depends on the case size. So, but have to turn this to dismantle. Well, you have you, you can turn back to focus spot iron for your make remaking. Okay, so you want so as we have here, we have a three by three first. So you need a hammer and three iron parts. Get parts. I was just going get parts for going short. Sometimes it's just what you pronounce it. Same. Okay, it's for three by four. What well, you need was for them. So we just play down the recipe. So every time you're crafting this, it's basically going to increase in size. It depends on how much you need, of course. 
So I was saying, yeah, this guy will actually be simple. You can craft anything you want, of course. Okay. So, only, so mostly I just uh, well, there's just every time for every one of this, on, it just increase this part by once, and of course you have different placement parts. So feel free to just check out on the inventory part. Look at the times. Um, okay, there we go. No, anyway, that's for the gate, and now for the final special part, the main feature of this entirety of this mod is this one. So, what is what for this mod? Why is it so popular? Well, it's because of this. So, because, well, yeah. Now, originally in the game, all you have is um, water energy, so, I mean, wind energy, so you can only build a windmill to create a mechanical balance to fill all your machines, or the machine, the most electric. Okay. Also in the electricity models I have featured before. Before, okay. So let's take this guy away. There we go. So we'll get to the basic part. So was for what? create water energy, hydro energy. So you need a water wheel here. You need ten resin, eight iron plates, and kind of boards. You need eight large gear section, a hammer, and a saw. So Keep in mind that this guy will be extremely expensive, as always, of course, I mean, if you have a lot of resources lying around, you know, feel free to craft in this thing. And as for, okay, but of course, to, well, in order for you to use it, you need a water wheel base, so, you need a lump of fat, 400 plates, a hammer, any kind of board you have, you need 12 of them, actually you need 8 iron plates, okay. And you need yeah, you need a brass plate and four resin. And actually, and this one, well, they have different kinds of you know pouring water. You have a brush shot, an undershot, and overshot technique. So the basic part is of course an overshot. Uh, overshot. So I should just putting this guy on this side. There we go. And then I'll put this one around here. Okay. I have to break this one first. Okay, so this is the basic one, the undershot, which means the water will flow un under, under, under the water itself. So you can for it to spin. This is the undershot. Of course, there are two more variants. That is the brush shot. So the brush shot is so to summarize. Well, so that's why we have this kind of part. Okay, so so. The basic part for all, for all to all the technique is a, you need a flame first. Now for the flame, you need well ten boards, any kind of board you have, and a saw to create this. And of course, we have other stuff like a fl flume output, which is of course cheaper. You just only need eight and eight boards and a saw. And for a flame with a hatch, so you can you know. Turn on, turn off this one as much as you want. That of course depends on you. And you need a hammer, a steel plate, and you need 12 boards and of course a saw. So, as for the hatch, this one we have a hatch for pen stock. You need um, 20 boards, 4 resin, 2 steel plate, a hammer, and a saw. So, of course, yeah, of course, hatch will be different. And as you can see, uh, well, this one has durability, as we all see. So what, let's just break it for the details. So yeah, a base durability of six thousand. And of course, you can you can replace this using a large repair kit. There's a variety. You have copper, iron, steel, and etc. So you need a hammer, two bolts, three letters, a rope, and four. In copper ingots because I'm using a copper variant. Of course, we can have different variants. So you have a tin bronze for a thousand repair to a thousand durability, iron for a thousand eight, and of course a steel for four thousand. So you can check it out. Of course, for salaries, I think. Oh, of course, I also forgot to mention this one. So a salaries is basically. Basically, it's used for 
preserving food stuff, so you can use this putting a shell. It's more of you altering the surrounding temperature, so it allows you to preserve your food actually even longer. So, in order to do this, you need any kind of ice you have. You can use leg ice or glacier ice, a saw, and 32 dry grass so, for making them. Okay, so now back to, back to the main part. Okay, so we'll see you have to place on it. Okay, I'll just place this one. Um, okay. No, okay, so. Oops. Okay. So we just place it up here. Put it. Um, how do you. Okay. I think you have to put this guy in first. Okay, so I'll just. Is wet. Is I think. Okay, so of course this one I should different. Okay, so I just um, raise this one up actually. Okay. So so I'll we'll just put it around here. There we go. Around there. Oops. Okay. I mean. Try to put it on the right side here. Oh, but, okay, there we go. So, first of all, you need a, f a flume up output, of course. So, actually, you need this one first. So, you need this one, this one with a hatch. So, you, I just place it right there. There we go. So, after that, you need to connect it with a flume. There we go. So, and putting this hatch up here. Okay, there we go. Oh, so all you need to do is basically you pour water down, of course. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's all right. Let me. I think yeah. I think, like some. Oh, let me see. Um, I think I need this one first. Okay. Okay, so let's try this again. There we go. this again. I think this is gonna work. Yeah. No, it's not. So God damn it. Okay, guys. I think actually I found a way for it to work now. So actually, I need to build water around here. Putting a fume with hatch first, and then I have to put the fumes later on. And then in the end, well, I will put this one up or down here. There we go. Well, this is a type that I is called. Under shells again, actually, of course, it's still like that again. Okay, you know what? I'm just what I'm doing now is just I'm gonna drain out the water first to see if the drain the water to nearby. Of course, so just let's see, let's see if it's gonna work this time. Okay, so. Yeah, this will be enough to clear the entire little water bodies. Okay, so let's break this guy back again. And then opening the hatch again. There we go. Letting the water out. Again, yeah, this is basically a nice short, simple, basic mechanic for anyone if you don't have any kind of water nearby. And as you can see, it will actually still pull us down. So the second type is basically. I think, yeah, so you can have this water building around here, so as you can see. Um, okay, there we go. Put, putting this guy down. 
Okay, so, and putting flume output, there we go. Okay, put, put it right that, and it's still always spin, there, as always. And there you have it, this that is the medieval mod. You can you want to try this thing out, links is in the description. And that's it for the video today. If you guys like it, if you, and if you like this kind of video, which you should press this like button, that would be heavily appreciated. And also, if this happens to be your first time watching me, be sure to press the subscribe button for daily video story content. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.